What's up guys, Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another twin motion tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to add decals to faces inside of twin motion. So decals can be used to do things like add striping to roads or add different things to walls, different puddles or concrete patches um, to make faces more interesting. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so this is our model of Denver that we created a couple videos ago. And and uh, if you remember, we brought in the open street map buildings as well as um, the roads and things like that. And uh, that's really good. The one thing about the roads, though, is they're a little bit uh, uniform in the sense that real roads would have things like striping and other things like that. And so what I wanted to do real quick is show you how to use decals inside of your library in order to add those stripes. And there's other things you can add with those as well. So to start off, we're just going to go into our library and we're just going to search, search for decals. So when we click on this, we search for decals, you can see how we have a whole bunch of different options in here. And so, like for example, you've got parking spaces, you've got um, manholes, you've got sewer grates, graffiti, all sorts of different things that can go on faces. So as you scroll through, you can see how there's a lot of different options. Well, what we want to do in this case is we just want to drag one of these into our model. And so when we do that, you're going to notice that this gets brought in to our model. And it sits on top of this face. And so what that means is that I can come in here and I can now adjust this um, however I want. So like for example, you could bring this in here and then uh, you can place this so that it runs parallel to this road. And then what we could do is we could use copy mode inside of Twin Motion in order to make a copy. So you can see how I can just kind of hold this shift key and then drag this in order to make a copy. And you want to drag this so that the, the ends line up um, because you want this to kind of continue along. So you want to be a little bit careful of how you place this but you just want to kind of place this in place and then you can create a number of different copies. So it's going to ask if we want to just create a copy or if we want this to be an instance. Um, and we haven't talked too much about instances. I may do that in a future video. But what we want to do is for now we just want to select instance. We just want to run the number of copies up to something like we'll say 20 and hit OK. And so what that's going to do is that's going to copy this 20 times inside of my model. So you can see how um, because I got this aligned before I did this, this lines up pretty good and it allows you to create a whole bunch of copies of this uh, singular line in here um, really quickly. And so then what we could do is we could select this and we could hold the shift key again and we could make a copy to create our line on the other side of the road. And so we're going to go ahead and make this copy and we're just going to create one copy copy here and you need to double check to make sure that your line spacing kind of stays the same um, or not your line spacing but that this is kind of running parallel to this edge right here but you can see how adding this in here um, this went in really quickly and so what we can do is we can also come in here and we can add things like dash markings as well so you can see how I can drag this dash marking in here and drag it onto this face and we can kind of do the same thing there that we did the other way so I'm just gonna drag this to negative 20 degrees and then I'll mouse over this and turn it another two and a half kinda like we did before so that this kind of lines up and we'll just place this in the middle of our road. And so then we'll just make the same kind of copy right here where this just kind of continues in a line and we can go ahead and make 20 copies of this as well. And again, I just held the shift key and dragged in order to do that. But I'm just gonna click OK. And you can see how that continues my edge across, or that continues my decal across this face. And you may have to do a little bit of a uh, you may have to do a little bit of fine adjustment to make sure this stays this stays kind of aligned with your road. Um, another way to do that might be instead of creating all of these copies at once, because what that does is that kind of multiplies any errors you have. Um, you might want to just uh, do a few of those at a time. But you can see how you can add those lane markings in here really quickly. And so those are all going to come um, into your those are all going to come into your model off to the right hand side over here. So what you could do is you could create a container and you could call this something like pavement markings 
and we'll just drag this container right here. And then you could just drag all of these other dash markings that we created by doing a shift click to select them all. And you could just drag them into this folder. So now we're in a place where we have all those pavement markings and we can toggle them on and off in our view really quickly. And so let's say, for example, that not only did we want to add these pavement markings in here, let's go back up and look at our decals again. If we scroll down, there's also things in here like manholes and other things like that. So you could drag manholes in here and sewer grates in order to kind of break this road up and make it look more realistic and more like an actual road. So you could just kind of place these manually. Um, you could randomize them. You could kind of do whatever you want with those as well. Then there's also options in here for other things too. Like for example, let's say we wanted this piece of pavement along the side here, or maybe we'll do it over here. Maybe, maybe we wanted that to have kind of a decorative pavement associated with it. You could bring a decorative pavement object in here like this, and you could kind of run the size up. and then kind of fill in the space like this. And then you could create multiple copies in here in order to kind of fill that out. But you could use this to make your pavement look different as well. So there's decorative pavement options in here. There's graffiti options. Just a lot of different things that you can use in here in order to just kind of break up these uh, these different faces and you can adjust things like the opacity as well so if you wanted to make uh, your decals a little more transparent you could use the opacity function to adjust that and so another option for things like the line markings if you wanted to do this instead is you could drag in a line marking like this one and you could go ahead and position that and then instead of adjust or creating a whole bunch of copies of this, you could come in here and you could adjust the scale kind of like this in order to make that longer. So you could set this up so that there was just one line in here like this as well. You do need to be a little bit careful in this because if you do that, you're going to get kind of distortions inside of your line. But if you're not going to pay really close attention to that line anyway, then that is another option for adding that line in here really quickly. If you're not going to get really close up with your camera or anything like that, you could just come in here and adjust that scale instead. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you you know about these decals? Have you been using them? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.